Who's up guys how to do a welcome creation program with us TV in this class we're going to see a simple example of how to populate uh, of course a combo box a metro combo box of course with an array list of data you can clearly see what you're having right here then if we click we select an item from our metro combo box then we show it in our message box this is what we're looking at so join us we start off okay so i'm going to have one class it's static class program.cs router now first we're going to add our uh, imports system using system using system with collections system dot drawing system dot windows dot forms metro framework dot controls and then metro framework dot forms now before proceeding you want to make sure that you have metro framework added in your references please if you don't have it installed you can install metro framework via new git okay so you can actually uh, install it, manage new git packages, then you just search metro framework, then of course you install it. Now we come right here, namespace, by there you can also proceed over to a link we're going to leave below, where we have a tutorial about uh, this particular class in text format, and we'll also show how to actually install metro framework right there. So our namespace is this one then this is our class it's a static class then of course we're going to have our metro combo box we have of course an instance field then we'll have right here a void a static method which is our main method okay now inside the main method will first come and then instantiate of metro form so metro form my form equal to new metro form then using object initializer we'll set the text property also set the clan size okay which is we pass in of course a size object 564 by 420 width and height then we come we create our metro combo box by instantiating it then of course we set the location right here via the object initializer new point okay our struct uh, point struct right here we pass in the x and y coordinates for the location of our metro combo box now we'll go ahead and then instantiate our array list then using collection initializer set of course as you can see data right here so you can see using collection initializer we're able to set our data to our array list then we'll come metro combo box the data source we set our data source as the nebula right here which is our array list then metro combo box the selected index change then plus equal to then of course we go ahead metro combo box selected index change now we go ahead the moment we do this one right here by the just type metro combo box okay the selected index then plus then equal then you press your tab key twice if you do so it will generate for you this one and then our event handler right here okay so you can see this event handler we are taking in an object sender and then an system dot event tags object will come and say message box the show then metro combo box the selected item dot to string now that's what we do to get the selected item so once we've done that one will come then my form dot controls dot add we add our metro combo box to our controls property of our my form then of course application to run we run my form that's all that's all we need to do right here okay then we just click start to run our project so if you run the project you can clearly see that we have right here our stuff okay whatever we select we're able to show okay so this is it right here go ahead subscribe to our channel programmers tv if you haven't now like the video share it and take care i'll catch you in the next class